China. Hey, what's up? We're back. And I have put together a really fun project for us to try. Well, mainly for my friend Lots of Plays to try, who's put together a database for me to mess around with actually a Twitter video that I tweeted out, because that's what you do with Twitter videos, not too long ago. We made the rather remarkable discovery that Donald Trump's son not only plays football slash soccer, he is pretty good at it. He plays in the DC United Youth Academy, and we found a video of him playing with the DC United Youth Academy, and he has a better first touch than Jossie Zardas. I'm sorry. He does. This then presents me with a huge opportunity. And I got Matza Place on board, and we have decided to put Baron Trump, the Donald's son, into the game, give him attributes that we have assigned and assembled as fair, and a potential and traits that we have assembled as fair, and see how his career plays out. If you want to give me crazy ideas like this, by the way, you can just follow me on Twitch as well. I stream four days a week. Those times are a bit up in the air because I'm currently in school. I know, scholarly Zealand. Look at him. <laughs> I'm so tired. Let's dive into the database because I have to set the scene. This is going to happen over a certain period of time. We're going to sim forward and see where the second coming of Peter Crouch is going to end up, which would be Baron Trump. Because if you didn't know, he's 6'5". And he's 14. 6'5". It's this many meters. It's a lot of meters. Well, not really, because meters are bigger than whatever. So we've had him made up and put in the game. He's 14 years old, DC United Youth, joins the senior team in 2022. He's 6'5", 163. His fabulous first touch, which you can see in the Twitter video that I will definitely link in the description. Uh, we've given him terrible balance because his change of direction, somebody said in the comments of the Twitter video, looks like a super tanker trying to turn in the middle of the ocean. We'll give him a better benefit than that, but he actually has pretty good speed when he gets going, according to our, our scouting. And we decided since he was essentially the type of player that Peter Crouch was is what he is hopefully going to be, we'll see. We haven't given him full potential. We gave him potential that could get him onto the bench in the Premier League, but I mean, he's 6'5", with great first touch. We clearly weighted it very heavily in that direction. We gave him Peter Crouch's player traits. That was the idea behind this. Now all that's left for us to do is to just stop in at different points in his career and see how he's <laughs> how baron trump is faring video disclaimer from me this video has nothing to do with politics at all so just don't bring it to the comments section either that stuff's for twitter where everybody can yell at themselves and everybody else all at the same time baron trump's 14 he didn't do anything to you I just wanted to put it in the game because I thought it was really cool that he played because I didn't expect it. That's it. Have a great rest of the video. All right. Ugh, I think it's time. I think the simulation is done. So he's now 15 years old. He's gone from 12 to 15. He is still playing for Loudoun United and he has not made a first team appearance. We've gone too young. So that's 2022. Let's go to 2024. Baron Trump is 17. I'm willing to bet he still hasn't moved, but has he actually played yet? He's 18. Oh, he now, oh, now he's playing all right, but he's still playing for DC United's affiliate, Loudoun United. Yeah, he's playing for DC United's affiliate club. He has not been brought up to DC United yet. So he's not broken in to the DC United team. He's not cool enough yet, but he is playing. He still kind of sucks though. This is hurting our boy's development. We had, we had some hope. He's very big. He's got some good technical aspects to his game. But he has 79 appearances and 19 goals for DC United's affiliate. He also has six finishing. So things can only go up from here for our friend Baron Trump, because I really can't get any worse. He's listed, wait, oh no, for money. He's listed for actual money. He's transfer listed for $325,000. That's actual money. He is under contract with DC United. How much money is he making? 56,000 a year. That's solid. He definitely needs the money, right? So good for him. 
We don't know what's happened, but he's playing for Zurich. This is, it's a massive upgrade from Loudoun United. He had four first team appearances for Zurich. He had a whale of a career with Loudoun United. 110 appearances, 32 goals in the second flight of the United States. Baron's getting his game on here. A free transfer to Zurich. DC United knows how to make deals. And it, okay, yeah. But actually though, okay. They had him transfer listed for $325,000. He's clearly good. He's a 20 year old that's able to get on the field for Zurich, right? He's got three appearances and a goal to, you know, he's the early stages of this season. Seems to be relevant in the first team. He's got a goal in the top flight of Switzerland for one of the better teams in the top flight of Switzerland. And they let him go for free. Zurich, on the other hand, they're making business deals. He's also outspoken. Wonder where he got that from. December 2029. We go forward three years, the most important three years in the development of Baron Trump. He's in the first team of Zurich. He is in the first team. And now he's playing at Citadella in Italy. So something there's... We're not going to have a very consistent career, I have a feeling. This has gotten rather strange. How many times did he play for Zurich? He's gone now. He made 19 first team appearances for Zurich. So let's track this. Zurich kept him around the season we were looking at. He ended up with 15 first team appearances, two goals and an assist. He was a player of the match for Zurich. And then he fell out of the first team, got loaned to Duisburg in the Bundesliga 2. And he went off. Season of his career outside of Loudoun United, which were just not going to count as relevant career experience. I'm sorry, Loudoun. 26 appearances, eight goals, two assists. In the second Bundesliga with Duisburg, he comes back to Zurich the next year, makes one appearance, doesn't play at all, and somehow this is enough to get a $7 million move to Lazio, who take him and then promptly loan him out for profit to Citadella, where he's made 12 appearances. He's got two goals and they're in Syria, actually. So full credit to them. They've been back and forth the entire time this save's been going on. They got promoted, relegated, two seasons promoted, relegated, two seasons promoted, two seasons and relegated, promoted. And now they've loaned in Baron Trump to try to keep them afloat. What a recipe for success. Has he achieved any milestones? He's achieved a lot of milestones, actually. He won the Schweizer Cup. Our man has a winner's medal. He won the Schweizer Cup when he was the only year that he was a relevant part of the Zurich first team. Baron Trump won the Schweizer Cup. He was also Bundesliga Team of the Week and the Player of the Week for March. Doesn't March is a month and a week is a week. Whoa. He was actually named to the Duisburg Seasonal Best 11 for the first time, bought by Lazio. Oh! What? What? He was the U.S. Young Player of the Year. 18 appearances, six goals, two assists, an average of a 7.03. What a performance from Baron Trump. Joins the illustrious Gary Watson. It's got to be his size. The FM has to just be overvaluing the fact that he's just big. And it seems like all of his potential, which his potential was not low. It seems like all of his potential has gone into developing an incredibly athletic tall dude. He's very large and he's very athletic. He doesn't have a lot technically. He has eight finishing, but he has player traits and all of his potential seems to have gone into him being athletic. So now at 23 years old, he's valued at 4.8 million. He's making 656,000 a year and he's playing on loan at Citadella making Lazio money. Time to go forward three more years. At 26 years old, what's he up to? That was a huge jump. So three years in the future, he's 26. We're just getting into the prime of the career of Baron Trump. And it doesn't look like any attributes have changed very meaningfully. This is just as good as he's going to be. So he's just bouncing around Italy. And it looks like he's never going to touch the field for Lazio or is he even on Lazio anymore? He's not. Okay, so they loaned him out. They loaned him out to Citadella. He ended up with four goals in 19 games. He was the player of the match once. Then he got loaned out to it. Did they go back down? No, he led Citadella to a 17th place finish. And then he goes to Udinese Calcio in the lower half of Serie A, makes Lazio a little more money, and then is let go for free after having a mess season with Udinese Calcio, but made 11 appearances. And then he goes to Perugia Calcio, who have 
come flying out of Serie B and made it stick somehow. And they're now a relevant mid-table team in Serie A and they've signed him for free, but he's not exactly a regular first team guy. This is dangerous. We're running into a situation where he might just be a bench riding Serie A player for the rest of his career, which is a come up from Loudoun United. But Persia Calcio don't seem too keen to play our boy. He made two appearances in his first season. He wouldn't have any appearances in this season because it hasn't started yet. It's June 30th. Has he done anything else? Well, he was named the team of the week in the seasonal. He was seasonal best 11 at Citadella and Udinese Calcio. Full credit to him. Let's check on injuries though. Has he had any setbacks? Looking at the majors. He damaged his Achilles tendon two years ago. So this would be in his season with Citadella? His first loan out from Lazio, he never touched the field for Lazio, but he damaged his Achilles tendon four month injury. I'm surprised that didn't dent his athleticism more because the only reason he is a good player right now is because he is big and he is athletic and he is making some bank. No wonder they let him go. He's making 1.87 million a year. His value has gone down, but Lazio didn't want to pay that. I can respect that. So he's got a new agent. He's got an Italian agent. He's found a home at Perugia Calcio. I don't think he'll be here for long. This is not good. He's still on Perugia Calcio. We're rooting for him at this point. He's getting worse now though. It's not a good sign. He's only 29, but he's definitely gotten worse. He might've gotten hurt or something, but he is playing for Perugia Calcio and they have not been relegated. So after they signed him, he didn't do anything for one year. And he was just boom, regular first teamer. He put that work in. He hit the weight room or something. 68 appearances, 18 goals, three assists over two seasons. Dude's kind of a club ledge. He's not a club legend. Then he goes right back, 16 appearances, one goal, maybe an injury. Yeah, I guess it was an injury. He broke his ankle. He also broke his hand the previous year. So he's been suffering a few more injuries now. He's damaged his Achilles tendon, broken his hand and broken his ankle in the last four years. That's not good. His ankle's a real problem. Twisted, twisted, broken. Supporters player of the year. Okay, they just got relegated. Though the though that was the under 20s. He was in the under 20s, rehabbing from the injury. They got relegated. I thought Perugia Calcio got relegated. I apologize. But he was, again, he's been Serie A team of the week, seasonal best 11. Serie A team of the week twice, seasonal best 11. He was the supporters player of the year for Perugia Calcio in 2034. The supporters favorite player last year. That was his best year as a professional, right here. 34 appearances, 11 goals to assist, four player of the match awards. So he was the supporter player of the year when they had a worse year. They finished 11th in his first year as a regular starter. Sec they finished 16th in his second year as a regular starter. Then he's out, they finished 15th. They're staying up in Serie A though, but I'm interested to know if he's got any good playing time left. He's moved. He's at Sems and Spore in Turkey. When did he move? He did play though. He did play again. He had 89 appearances at Perugia Calcio last time he looked and he's gone from 29 to 31. He played in that last season. He had 27 appearances, nine goals. He got himself back on the horse. But then I think Perugia Calcio decided it was time to get rid of him because he's deteriorating as a player. His bravery is down to three. This is a case of a very early exit from professional play. So they capitalized on him. He's still making bank. He's making 1.9 million a year at Samson Sport, but it doesn't look like they're too excited to play him. But at least he, he got one more good year in with Perugia Calcio. He's had a good career. He made over 300 appearances. He scored 77 goals at a professional level. What else happened? He was again, so he's like six or seven times Serie A team of the week, which is hilarious. Perugia Calcio needs to get some new history. He was in at one point, the overall best 11 for Perugia Calcio is a three-time regular starter and he's now out of it that's a shame after one year he was in it for one year and then sold to samson spore and then he's been removed from the perugia calcio overall best 11. But it's still a good career 113 appearances 28 goals for baron trump at perugia calcio all in syria look at that they finished sixth he made the seasonal best 11. This might be the crowning achievement of his career. He wasn't even that good. He still only has one trophy. He still only has the Schweizer Cup, which let's be honest with ourselves. Who cares about the Schweizer Cup? And we know he didn't play a big role because he made like 20 appearances for Zurich in his whole career. We've gone forward one more year 
to check on Baron and he's not this is where his career dies because Samson Spore buys him and they've got no they've got no plan they buy him in Turkey he makes seven appearances he's a foreign emissary for the president at this point to Turkey they need to talk some things over I think that is a great bit of business Perugia Calcio gets a person that get joins their overall best 11 for free sells him for 2.1 million right when he's tailing off to the end of his career and we can see it he's just getting worse what was the only thing that made him good he was big and athletic he is now just big he never broke into the u.s team and he wasn't allowed to go to the slovenian team he did make u20 appearances is he capped at the u20 level made one appearance that was back when he was at loudon that's why we didn't even notice it well he went on the field when he was playing at loudon at a u20 level for the states he never broke into the team i feel like he was close those perugia calcio days where he's like a regular starter on a Serie A team. I feel like that puts you pretty close in the U.S. pecking order. But his career is over now. He's just collecting a fat paycheck and Samson Spore is regretting making the purchase. He can't get on the field. And for very obvious reasons, he can't get on the field. He's bad. From 2019 to 2038. He's lived a good career. He's made a lot of money. He doesn't really need. I think his family's got him. But he's still going at 33. But this is... Oh, my... Valued at 700. He did not take the field for Samson Spore last season. This is not a surprise. He has made eight appearances in three seasons as part of Samson Spore. He's been moved down to their U19s to join such illustrious players as Hassan Gundul. <clears throat> Got some in my throat there. His contract expires in six days. And thus, this is the end of his career because we know this is the last save spot where we see him in the database. He lets his contract run out at Samson Spore, a consummate businessman to the end. I'll leave any potential joke in there. Off to the side. The Biography of Baron Trump Baron Trump is a name that will be more familiar to soccer fans in Italy than Turkey. The Samson Spore stalwart? Questionable. Who amassed nine appearances over the course of his career has already announced he will retire. We missed that. Baron Trump began his career in the DC United Academy in 2019 and moved to DC United in 2022. He moved to Fußball Club Zurich in 25-26. During this time, he spent time on loan at Duisburg, making 26 appearances and scoring eight goals. His Zurich team lifted the Schweizer Cup in 2027 and he joined Lazio, but failed to make an appearance the next year. During this time, he also spent time on loan at Citadella and Udinese, making a combined total of 30 league appearances with five goals. In 21-31-32, he joined Associazione Calcistista Perugia Calcio, making 113 league appearances and scoring 28 goals, then joining Samson Spore for 2.1 million in 2036. They made eight league appearances, which we've said four times already. In terms of personal accolades, he has a single U.S. Young Player of the Year award to his name. And so ends the story of Baron Trump. Tune in a few days from now for another video. Because that's how YouTube works. Oh, Miguel, you ran over the ball, but he's recovered wonderfully.